Um, I started out uh, about 18, 19, uh, managing artists. And, uh, um, you know, I was from, from D.C., so, you know, it's not too many things for us to do out there um, besides getting in trouble. So I, I decided, you know, I had a son when I was 17, so I decided that I wanted to leave a legacy for him and I wanted to make something myself because my mom always told me you can do anything you put your mind to. And I always live by that and believe that. And so um, I fell in love with music, and so I felt like I wanted to help artists um, get recognized and be able to live out their passion. So I started, you know, managing artists, going to discover artists, and having them be able to perform in front of, you know, different national um, recording artists, <coughs> such as, you know, um, Tank, Jay Z, some things like that. Just like if I heard it was going to be a radio station, I would take my artists to that to that and let them rap, sing, whatever, just so they get to be in front of that person, they can get that right right there, that, that criticism, good or bad. So um, I did that and then transitioned over into acting once I was just like, it was, I, I feel like you can push a person as far as they want to go. And sometimes with people, like I can push you as far as you want to go, but if you want to go any further, then I'm stuck. But if I push myself, I can push myself as far as I want to go and that could be as high as whatever. So. I felt, I felt like it was time for me to put that energy that I put in everybody else into myself because every time I was in these different rooms pitching artists, they were like, what are you doing? What, what are you doing for you? And so, you know, I, I auditioned for a PSA with this agency I was with and it was my first time acting and I, and I booked it, no acting experience ever. And I was like, okay, I started doing it. And I was like, this is, this is fun and I get paid. So I started really taking it serious, watching movies, I watched Denzel, Samuel Jackson. I didn't watch it for entertainment. I watched it like to learn how could I take what they have but implement my own style in it. And I just continued to start growing. And and then I, you know, I was blessed enough to land, the, you know, the wire after auditioning 15 times. But I was the extra first, which I was for at first. I was like, Nah, I'm good. Fifty dollars for eight hours, I'm good. And so they kept calling me, and I'm just like, Man, maybe God is like testing me or something. So I was like, I right, the third time, I was like, I'll do it. And I did it, and I'm glad I did because it, it humbled me in a way to now I can appreciate when I finally got that role because the, one of the first person I met on set was Will Harris, and me and him clicked and connected through music, and we exchanged numbers, and it was just like, you know, that showed me like, dang, people are kind of humble out here. You know, you don't have to be all Hollywood. So that transition from there to the front of the wire to now I was able to take that out here in L.A. and build and network and then just continue to grow. And so now I, I, I'm at a point where it's like, I don't want to just be known as one thing, an actor, a producer. I'm a brand. So just like a Coca-Cola, what you you know, an Arrowhead, like I'm a brand. Like so, I, my brand provides services. I'm a host. I'm a motivational speaker. I'm an actor. I'm a producer, writer, pro, you know, director. All these things. So because it's like, I had to figure out how can I create something to where it doesn't look like I'm doing so much. Because you see people doing so much, like man, they do so much. What are you good at? What what is it? What exactly do you do? And so I had a. Um, a sports agent asked me one day, he said that with me, he was like, if you only could be um, known for one thing, what would that be? And at the time, it was a, it was a great actor. And then as time went on, I, I changed it. I said, a great business person, great businessman, because that's what I started off first, as a businessman. I didn't start out as a talent. or I learned the business first. And then I was able to now manage myself and, and, and push my own business so that I can be you know, the next whoever. But I was just like, I don't want to be the next Eddie Murphy, they say I want to be the, the, the next me because if we continue to imitate everybody, then there's all a bunch of imitation as you see. There's everybody, there's this little, you know, call, call it mumble rap. You see everybody mumble rapping. Mm. And it's just like, when we gonna stop being unique and, and different? You know, we already kings and queens, so we, we already come from royalty. So it's like, we don't have to be like, I don't have to be like you, you don't have to be like him. We can be individuals and still shine and, and come together and be different individuals, but coming together in a group. And so I'm just like, I'm at a point to where, you know, you said I'm wearing the shirts that be somebody. It's like, we got to be somebody that we can look up to, that kids can look up to. And it's so much hate in our community. And I'm just like, man, I'm all about spreading love. So I, I can say that I don't have any enemies that I created. I try to apologize to everybody just for the simple fact that I don't need everybody to like me, but you're going to respect me. And I want to know that, listen, I'm a man of God, so I'm showing the image of, of God. So God is love. So I can't hate you because of something you may have did three years ago. I gotta forgive you. I'm not saying I'm ain't gonna forget, but I gotta let it go and be like, you know what? I gotta show you grace. And, and that is like, dang, okay, well maybe he really is a Christian, or maybe he really is, and that that may change your heart. And now you can forgive the the person that you weren't able to forgive. So it's it's a domino effect that we gotta do, and we gotta, you know, we gotta make a change. And people are complaining about who's in, who's in office. It don't matter who's in office because it's 
it's still up to us to change our lives. That one person is not going to dictate what you do today or tomorrow. You know, our ancestors lived through so much, and they 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 fought for us to be to where we are. Like you see about the you know the women that helped the astronauts get to, to space. Like they went through so much, yeah. and you know, and it's like they made it. They they were able to do what they needed to do, and they had people to support them. And I think if we stay positive and we don't continue to feed into all this negativity, that we'll be okay. We got to continue to build people up and show them what images of us look like, not what they think we look like, but what we are. And that's why it's time to tell our stories. Where you see, um, you know, movies like Hidden Figures being made, and you see uh, Birth of a Nation, you know, things like that. Because we are warriors. We are, you know, unique individuals, not just black people, but just people in general. Like we have to own our own space. And so that's why I'm at now. It's just like, you know, I'm all about trying to help build people up because it's not just about me. And God showed me that a long time ago when it was like, you know, as an actor, it becomes about you. But you got to not let it be about you because your shine could be gone tomorrow. Like, you could be up today and gone tomorrow. I had that before. So it's just like it's a humbling experience when people are like, hey, what's up? I want you being this. I want you being that. I want to give you this, this clothes, this and that. And then you ain't doing that. And it's like, oh, what's the next project? And so I was just like, I'm at a point to where I'm not looking to try to please nobody because you can't please everybody. I'm just trying to be me, spread love, and, 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 um, and empower these young minds because these are truly all the future. They got so much, so many talents and so much wisdom. Like I talk to my son, my young son every day, um, and, and just he's just so such a, this intelligent young man that I'm like, man, he's already talking about I want to go to Berkeley. I'm like, you're 13 years old. But that's how we should be because <laughs> You know, kids don't need to wait until they age 17, 18, try to figure out where they're going to college. College ain't for everybody. So I don't push, like, go to college. Like, I went to college, and I was just like, I'm ready to get out of here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, if it's going to help you build you as a, as a better person and prepare you for life, then, then do it. But if you're not going to go to college, have a trade, have something already set up. I tell you guys now, start, start, start working on your businesses. Don't wait till you got to be 17, because this kid's got 13 years old. They got their own business and make it millions. So it don't matter. Like, you listen, watching Drake, and you like, oh, that's my role model. Nah, you need a new role model. You know what I mean? Look up some history. Look up Malcolm X. Look up Martin Luther King, Stokely Carmichael. Those are real heroes. Those are people that actually did something for our people. You know, Drake is great music. Not gonna knock him. But what is he doing for you? What is he doing for your mind? Ain't doing nothing. Is it making you a better person? No, right? So why feed something in your mind every day that's not making you a better person? Why not read a book? Why not say, okay, how how to be a businessman? That's gonna help you. So now you can like tell your friends, like, listen, man, I'm about to go, go open up this 401k, I'm about to do, you know, you can just start working on your investments and your financial your goals because as, as people, we don't, we spend more money than we, when we, when we save and then we invest. And so I feel like, you know, we have to learn how to be investors and how to continue to create more revenue because we'll spend it. We'll go buy some Jordans all day. Jordan is sitting good right now. And that's cool. But, you know, sometimes it's like, instead of like, okay, if you can get three pairs of shoes for the price of that with one pair of Jordan, most likely you still won't get that, that Jordan because that's just how mindset. <laughs> I'm like me, I'm like, now nah, I'm about to get three kicks right here because I mean, these Jordans are nice. They real nice. But three, I get three. So, you know, I mean, I have a, I tell my son all the time, I have an 18-year-old, I have a 13-year-old, a 9-year-old, so I have to leave a legacy for them to continue to be great young men because you guys are young kings. Don't, don't think of yourself as any, anything less. Respect these women out here, these young girls. Even if they're acting suspect, that's not your place to call them a bee or a hoe. You know, respect them and, and be young gentlemen that your mom, you know, I always tell people, I say, respect a woman better than you respect your mother because if you respect your mother, you gonna respect the women even twice, twice more because they're supposed to be queens. So just continue to be great, you know. Um, and man, listen, I'm here for you guys. You know? I, mean, I don't try to be too distant. I mean, this whole Hollywood world is, is what it is. But I, I you know, I'm, I'm a just a regular guy from DC that, that 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 made a name for himself, and I'm still still striving. I'm still I'm working a nine to five. I tell people, I'm, I mean, so many in this business, people will put on this facade like, yeah, I'm balling, I'm doing this. I'm like, listen. <laughs> I'm working a nine to five. Why? Because I want to make sure my life still stay on, no matter if this industry hires me or not. And it's important because we'll get so like, we're like, man, I'm gonna quit my job. I done booked this role and this and that. And then the show get canceled. And you're like, oh man, hey, your boss, can I have my job back? Right. Like, I'm not trying to be an employee for the rest of my life, but I understand that in order to be a boss, you gotta learn how to be an employee. So that when you have employees, you know how to treat them. You know how to yep. how to clock in and clock out. I'm like, okay, 
All right, it's time to get to work. So it's time to get to work, fellas. All right, I'll be on April. Thanks, Melvin, for coming out, man. Thank you. You're welcome to stick around. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I have